housing accounts for a whopping 27% of energy use in Ireland. So I'm visiting a passive house to see what might be possible. When Niall Walsh came to build his family home, he decided to do it with their future in mind, creating one of the most energy efficient houses in the country. Nas' 3,000 square foot home is modern, open plan and warm. The windows are triple glazed, so the heat from electrical appliances remains inside longer, and it's all controlled by a smart energy management system. Despite the size of the house, they have just three radiators, which they rarely use. So now, do you want to start and just tell me what is a passive house? Well, a passive house is a house that you don't need to add or subtract any heating from. So we have no real heating system. So it just stays nice and warm because of the insulation. So why did you decide that you wanted to make this passive house? The reason we wanted to do it was we were living in an old 50s house that was quite cold, uh, quite expensive to heat. Uh, coming into my 50s, decided that I wanted to have zero utility bills are as close to zero as possible. Do you feel like you had to give up anything, any luxuries to have this passive house? No, uh, nearly the opposite, in fact. You know, the environment in it is absolutely fantastic because we have the mechanical ventilation pumping in loads of lovely fresh air that's preheated by the stale air going in. We have fresh air all day long, but it's warm. You're very happy with it, oh, obviously. It's, it's, it's just unbelievable. <laughs> like, I don't know how, I could never go back to living in a non-passive house. Previously, Niall's family spent over €4,000 a year on their energy needs. Now it's just €170 Euro on heating and hot water and about €1,000 on electricity. Niall could afford a comprehensive job, but what would he do with a smaller budget to modify an existing home? i do external insulation, the best I could get, and i put a mechanical ventilation system in. And then, when I had more money, I'd upgrade the windows. You know, you could do it stages, you can do it. You could do it, you could do it, definitely do it. Jeff Colley, a sustainable construction expert, joins me at Niall's house to explain the challenges he faces in spreading the word about efficient homes. One of the problems we face in promoting better standards is that Irish people have very low expectations of buildings. Um, we're accustomed to cold, damp, uh, mouldy buildings. It is possible to build buildings that are comfortable, that have constant fresh air all year round. Uh, you know, you don't have this dreaded kind of don't want to get out of bed on a winter's morning thing because of the cold. And yet they cost half nothing to, to run. Well, if it's all these amazing benefits, how do we make this more widespread in Ireland? So we need our uh, policymakers to step up. So Neary Rathdown County Council, actually, funnily enough, having visited this house uh, last uh, January, have decided just, just recently to uh, make the passive standard a requirement for all new buildings, not just housing, in the county. And that'll kick off in March. 